All right, welcome to the shaft. Uh, lighting's not very good right now, but uh, I appreciate you uh, staying with us. I appreciate, uh, you know, everything you guys uh, do. And as far as, uh, you know, uh, uh, signing up for our channel, uh, tell your friends about us. Remember, this is an ongoing story. This is not a one-time deal. We're going to be having uh, quite a few episodes. Like I said, this, this is the shaft. And uh, that's what the shaft is all about, is the shaft. No, I'm just kidding. It's not about getting the shaft. It's about us trying to mine, right? Underground mining. Uh, well, I'll tell you, you know, it's always been difficult, one thing after another. But we'll do it. Uh, anyhow, if you got a dollar or two, you want to donate, by, by all means, do it. Uh, but once again, uh, there will be something on, uh, on, the, on the channel here to tell you how to do that and how to get a hold of us. Uh, but, hey, welcome to the shaft. So, anyways, this is our truck. It's an F450. Kind of gearing up today to head out to the mine, do a little plowing maybe. Don't mind my fingers there, but hold on here. I got to do a little bit of adjusting on my handheld here. Anyways, I thought it was interesting. This old truck here is a uh, 2011, and it, you know, good old girl hasn't failed me yet. Uh, we've gone to a lot of places together, me and her. Uh, you know, I was up in the central area here a few years back and going through a stream and the water got up underneath the bed and bottom line is it's just uh, my fuse box got full of water and it's all rusted out. Um, and so we have an electrical issue with this truck. Um, so the only reason I'm kind of showing you this is because I got these connectors right here and if you put them on the negative terminal um like so I'm trying to get this shadow out of my way what the heck right can't see crap with that in there anyways that's that terminal we should have better lighting uh as far as that goes yeah we'll do our best anyways you can turn off the batteries with that with that green knob right there so that the batteries are, are turned off hold on let me maybe if i just hold the camera boy that just shadows driving me crazy driving me look we got my finger what little oh, okay stop fooling around it's not about that all right anyways here's that terminal right here uh sorry about the shadow but anyways, you, you just turn on the batteries or, see, we got power, power. Or you just turn it, power's off, uh, like that. So, but we're about ready to go. So we're gonna power this thing up And then we'll go from there. Here's my other one. There's dual batteries on this truck. So, turn it on. That kind of nice. At least that way when I show up here, um, you know, I can fire the truck up. It's not dead. Battery's not dead. I guess they call that a parasitic draw in the mechanical world. Uh, I should probably check the oil on this thing. Um, before we head out make sure we're looking good all right so i just give you i just wanted to show that to you and uh once again we'll be gearing up all right so we're over here at the pull out we're about ready to get started heading up to, uh, i gotta put chains on the truck i'll show you guys how to do that and uh, we'll get ready for the fun for the fun right that's what it is about So, that's our crane. It's got a broken motor. I don't know if you can tell the, the road's not gonna be in good condition. Hopefully we can get in. First things first, let's chain up. Our 
chains and we'll go from there. Ah, so once you get the chains kind of looped on your truck, the important part is the cleats facing up. Okay? The cam on the outside so you can lock it in. I drive forward, some people like to drive back, so then we just drive the truck forward a foot or two, and then we uh, lock everything up. Okay, let's go forward a bit. Like so. Then we see where we're at. That looks like it's pretty good. Tighten that one up a little bit more, it's still too loose. You know what? I'm gonna go forward just an inch or two more. This gives us a little bit more room to play with the hooking it up. Put a bungee, like so. Put your bungee on. So it's kind of even, a little bit. So it's nice and tight. So it kind of looks like that. So we're recording. This is Jordan. He's helping us say hi to everybody. How's it going? All right. So we're doing chains to get into the mine. Jordan's going to be the camera guy. Just kind of, and you can move this any direction you want. Try to find a good spot. Yeah, so chains 101. As you can tell, chains are on the trucks. Except for this guy. Why? Made the first mistake. Remember how I told you earlier the cleats have to be up? I put these ones and the cleats were on the showing the tire. They can help us one bit. Alright. So anyways, take the chain. Put it on. Jordan, come on over here so I can show them what they're talking about. These are the cleats. They have to be showing up. I put this one on and the cleats were down. Second thing is, you look for your for this guy. 
make sure it's facing you. That way, uh, when you go to hook it up, you can do it. Sorry. So anyways, now we're just gonna kind of line it up a little bit. And then I drive forward. And then we're gonna hook it up. So give me a moment. Drive forward. As you can see, the cantilever is on this side right here, or the, uh, they call it a carabiner or whatever. We've got the hook over here. Take your hook, hook it into the chain as best you can or as tight as you can. Sometimes it'll twist a little bit. Kind of line it up. So, and you just press it in if I can. Like so. Okay, is the job done? No. Now we gotta bungee it up. Jordan, show them that bungee over there. That's a star bungee. But with these four wheel drives, on these ones, the one up here in front, you have to use a different type of bungee. Basically, this is just a round bungee with some hooks on it. And then you reason why if you use that star bungee it'll get hooked into the lug nuts there and next thing you know you're all twisted up bungee breaks life sucks so you just press this down so stretch it a bit chain is kind of tight to the tire bungee goes around the nuts so they don't get caught up in here and uh, it should hold on we go do the other side we'll bump it go all right Jordan what do you think we're gonna make it in tonight I think so sometimes when the road gets soft like that it's an all-day affair. What we're going to do today is Jordan's going to work on the drill rig. We're going to get a dozer fired up, hopefully. I'm going to work on the road. And uh, kind of prepping ourselves for a mine site visit here in the next two weeks from a big outfit. Sure that we can get in. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit and welcome to the shaft. All right, so we made it up the first half of the hill. Now we're going to head down into the second half, and on the second half, I'm going to try to go ahead and plow down all the way down 
That way, coming up, be a little easier in case we can't get that dozer fired up. Uh, chain seems to be doing all right. Plow seems to be doing okay. Yeah, that chain is hanging in there good. Jordan's driving up the Dodge. Hopefully he can make it. We'll see. Before I head down, we'll make sure, confirm it. A lot of snow, more snow than normal. It's got to be at least six, seven inches on the on the trail. So let's see. Let's hope. All right. So welcome to the shaft, everybody. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and head on down the next two hills. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plow down because nothing worse than getting stuck in the mine and having to walk out. Uh, I'm not sure how good you guys can see what we're doing, but way more snow than I anticipated. But windshield's a little dirty too. But I hope you guys can get the idea. It's always easier plowing downhill than it is plowing. Never plow uphill, you guys. You just get stuck. Don't do that. So just plow down. Temperature outside is around 10 above. What I do is I hug the left hand side of the trail with the plow and, the, and, and basically our, our plowed trail is too small. I don't have a snow blower, so the snow piles up on the right and there's nowhere for it to go because I can't throw it over the top. Now the dozer blade is 10 and a half feet wide and so if we get the dozer fired up, I'm able to come up here and doze it and at least, you know, it pushes the snow because it's got the power to do it. See a little resistance right now. Starting to get down on a little more flatter area. And really what you run into trouble is when you hit the drifts. Some of these drifts can get up to three to six feet deep. If we hit a drift, the wind's been blowing, yeah, we're, we're not gonna make it, but so far we, we've been pretty lucky. And hopefully this may be one of the last times we have to plow this road. Uh, you know, we're getting towards the end of March. Uh, the sun is staying up way longer. Last night, sunset was like at nine o'clock at night. So during the day, it's getting plenty of time to heat up. Not sure how good of a job we're plowing right now only because there's so much snow and I can see some snow machiner came in through here I see his his tracks Days like this, I like to bring two trucks because I know that ram will get out as long as I plow it down a little bit. Not only that, it's got a winch on it. It's a power wagon. So if we had to, we would winch our way all the way out of here. Not that we want to do that, that's for sure. Ain't no fun winching. Now 
we're heading down to the steepest part of the hill. This is a kind of a mile and a half to almost two miles long hill here. This continually goes down. get that dozer fired up and figure it out. I'm gonna need to be able to plow this road down with a dozer. Or else we could spend the rest of the day getting out of here. into the roads during breakup it gives a chance for the water to go out into the woods instead of on the road that water breakup just tears these roads up just continually just washes them out Welcome to the shaft. This is what it's all about. We never said mining's easy or boring. It is frustrating, no, that's for sure. It's like, why in the world has it been snowing so much? We want some summertime. Well, actually, we don't. This is a permafrost mine. We should be mining in the wintertime, but we didn't quite get the drill rig done like we wanted to. I'm only a one-man show, pretty much. So, I'm doing it all on my own. I haven't given up yet, though. That's what this is about. This journey's about not giving up, people. This journey's about, you know, I've always said your failures is what makes the character of a man. Uh, what do you do with your failures? You know, do you cry about it or do you become stronger? Uh, that's the thing I've always taught. Become stronger. Don't let failure beat you. Oh, 
closer to that dozer, which is nice. That dozer's been a problem, man. It's been freezing up and it just needs some good TLC. This old trail, tell you what, man, it's a good way to break in a truck. And uh, it, it, well, I'll tell you, it'll it'll destroy the truck too. Like I said, all the newer trucks we've had have literally broken apart. This good old 450, though, I'm giving a plug to Ford. Has managed to get through this thing, not a problem. to the dozer so first order of business all right 